So good afternoon, everybody. We were discussing the story, the address in the previous class. So tell uh, to tell you a recap of the uh, story so far that we discussed. It is the story of a lady who goes back to her homeland after the Second World War. And she has an address with her. And it is to that address that she goes to see the belongings of her mother and herself when she was a child. Do you know the Second World War happened in the 1940s? That is uh, from 1945 to 1949. And it was a very uh, tragic experience for people across a, bit, a large number of nations. So this lady, she was a child when the war began. And uh, in the story, you can see that uh, it, uh, the memories of her uh, past are said in the form of a flashback. So when the story begins, the narrator, the narrator uh, is the daughter of Mrs. Yes. So she is called Mrs. Yes's daughter. And she comes to the house of Mrs. Dorling. She rings the doorbell and Mrs. Dorling opens the door. At first, she doesn't recognize her. So she asks her this question, do you remember me? So uh, the Mrs. Dorling is surprised and uh, she asks another question in reply. Have you all come back? So then she says, no, only me, because her mother died during the war. So the only person who has come is she, that is uh, Mrs. Yes's daughter. So this is the uh, situation. And she notices, Mrs. Yes's daughter notices that this uh, lady, Mrs. Dorling, is wearing her mother's dress. What is the name of that dress? She was wearing a particular kind of dress. Anyone remembers the name of that dress? It begins with a C. Cardigan. Cardigan. Yes. Uh, she was wearing her mother's knitted cardigan. Glad she said that it's the right, correct answer. So uh, she was wearing her mother's green knitted cardigan because uh, she remembers her mother's dress. So her mother's belongings are here. So. Uh, it turns out that uh, her mother's belongings are now being used to buy this woman Dorling. So uh, she notices that uh, she is wearing the mother's cardigan. This lady Dorling is wearing her mother's cardigan. Then she is sure that she has come to the right place. At first she had some doubt whether I have come to the right place because the lady did not recognize her. So she had some doubt whether I have come to the wrong house. But when she sees her mother's dress, she is convinced, she is sure that she has come to the correct house. So what does she do? She uh, tells uh, Mrs. Dorling, I want to talk to you. But uh, Dorling says, uh, yeah, it is not convenient for me. I cannot talk to you now. Maybe later. Maybe some other time. Then uh, the narrator says, I have come here only to meet you. I have train ticket. So still she does not agree to meet and she says, no, I cannot meet you. And the narrator is forced to, to leave the place. So there she closes the door. So even after she closes the door, she waits on the doorstep for some time. And then she leaves the house. And as she is walking to the station, she remembers what happened during her childhood. And that is how we uh, come to understand of how these belongings came to the house of Dorling. So she remembers her childhood when she was a student and when she had come home for a few days on her holidays, she notices that some things in her house are missing. So she asks her mother, where are these things? Then her mother tells her a story. So the mother tells her, I had an old acquaintance. Acquaintance is not a friend. I have a friend. need not necessarily be a friend. friend So uh, there was an acquaintance whom I used to know. I had lost contact with her. Suddenly she has renewed her contact. And she, she is coming to my house every now and then. She comes and says, because the war is happening, 
you may have to leave this place appo you may have no orange mrs s in the family and udesh mrs s belongs to the jewish community jew and what is j e w and what is it's a kind of community who were persecuted during the second world war especially by uh, dictators like hitler so because they belong to the jewish community they will have to leave that country the country is holland so they will have to leave that country and you may lose your belongings so i will keep your belongings so this, it is with this promise that uh, mrs dorling takes away all every every time she comes she comes and takes away one or two things so at one point she came and took away the table silver another time she came and took away the antique vessels the next time she came and took away the crockery another time she came and took away the flower vases so every time she comes she comes and takes away something and it is heavy load she and the narrator i mean not the narrator the narrator's mother mrs s s yes, feels uh, pity for her that she is carrying so much load she does not uh, suspect that she is taking away stealing her wealth no she does not think like that she feels pity for her pavam kashtapetti load ok eduthu kondu povunu nalla oru oru sympathy aanu virodu thonnu she doesn't feel that she is stealing away her things she feels uh, the, the daughter so she is explaining mrs yes is explaining this to the daughter so the daughter asks have you agreed with her that she will keep this and return it to us later angana oru promise vaangittund avaru yes if that is necessary is that necessary you should not uh, behave like this with people so uh, mother gets angry and after when when mother is does not like the comment that the daughter makes the daughter does not argue further with the mother appo ammayodu choikkana ayya avarodu parannittundo namukku idakke tirichu tharanam nalladu adu choodichathu ammayku ishtapettilla appo ammayku ishtapettilla nalladu kondu she does not proceed the question further so that is uh, what happened and i think that is where we stopped in the previous class so uh, uh, her mother was not happy that i asked such a question and she looked at me reprovingly in a scolding manner and after that i we didn't say anything so while she was walking at the station uh, she did not pay much attention to the things that were happening around because there were a lot of things to see because she is coming to a, this area after a long time kore naal kaynittana the selpathile thamsira selathil vechu appo chuttum oru vaadu maatrangal sambhavichittundu so she, i was walking in familiar places again here this since the war but i did not want to go further than was necessary appo chelathu namukku kaanumba sangadu undu nu namukku kaan vanna maatrangal kaanumba so i didn't want to upset myself so that is why she did not uh, want to look at these places again karena nashtapetta sthalangal aanu tirichu varanu nu ingey orikkum sadhyam allatha sthalangal aanu appo adu veendum kandu sangada padanda enna oru chendu kondanu so i didn't want to upset myself with the sight of streets and houses full of memories from a precious time appo adu kondu chuttu nadana karyangal shraddhichathu rendu kaaranangal aanu onnu she is thinking about the things that have happened and the second reason is that she did not want to pain herself make her uh, sad she did not want to feel depressed by looking at the st uh, streets and places which were so familiar to her which were so of uh, so loving for her because they, they remind her of her childhood days and childhood days are always special for everybody everybody loves their childhood everybody loves their childhood friends everybody loves their childhood institutions education institutions, schools your teachers of the your childhood your friends that you played with in childhood so the those are things we miss and when we uh, see them again and when we are no longer able to get back to those places it it uh, creates a lot of pain so therefore she says i don't want to Uh, see these places again so even though she is walking in these familiar places she doesn't pay any attention to these places so the next paragraph can somebody read this paragraph who is there uh, mm. അക്ഷയാമണികണ്ഠൻ 
Akshay, are you there? Yes, sir. In the train back, I saw Mrs. Dorling in front of me again as I had the first time I met her. It was the morning after the day my mother had told me about her. I had got up late and coming downstairs, I saw my mother about to see someone out. A woman will, uh, with a broad back. Yes. So, while she was going back, she saw Mrs. Dorling in front of me again. I have a train in the അവരുടെ രൂപം എന്റെ മനസ്സിൽ വീണ്ടും വന്നു എന്നാണ് ഇപ്പൊ ഏത് രൂപം പണ്ട് കണ്ട രൂപം ഇപ്പൊ കണ്ട രൂപം അല്ല പണ്ട് അവരുടെ വീട്ടിൽ വന്ന ഒരു തവണ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ല സോ ഐ സോ മിസസ് ഡോർലിംഗ് ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് മീ അഗെയിൻ ആസ് ഐ ഹാഡ് സീ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഐ മെറ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഐ മെറ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കുട്ടിക്കാലത്താണ് അപ്പൊ അത് ആ ചിത്രം എന്റെ മനസ്സിൽ വന്നു എന്നാണ് അല്ലാതെ അവിടെ മിസ്സസ് ഡോർ ട്രെയിനിൽ കൂടെ വന്നു എന്നല്ല അർത്ഥം ഇൻ ദ ട്രെയിൻ ബാക്ക് ഐ സോ മിസ്സസ് ഡോർലിംഗ് ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് മീ ആസ് ഐ ഹാഡ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം മെറ്റ് ഷീ വാസ് ഇൻ ഹർ ഹൗസ് ഇൻ ഹർ ചൈൽഡ്ഹുഡ് വെൻ ദ മദർ വാസ് എ ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വെൻ ദ മദർ ഹാഡ് ടോൾ ഹർ അബൌട്ട് അപ്പം ഡോർലിങ്ങിനെ കുറിച്ച് അമ്മ പറഞ്ഞതിന് ശേഷം നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഡേ ദ മോർണിംഗ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ ഡേ മൈ മദർ ഹാഡ് ടോൾ മീ അബൌട്ട് ഹർ and she had got up late and coming downstairs she saw my mother about to see someone out to see someone out ennu parney kanyan ore aale yathra yakunnayana to see someone out veru prayogamana to see someone off see off cheyuga nu parayilla so it is from that we have this uh, phrase see off adu pole thaniyana see someone out so porthekku povunna oru aalku yathra parayunnadana see someone out So I saw my mother. She was about to see someone out. That's why I know. That's why I'm a woman. A woman with a broad back. One of the people. That is Mrs. Dorling. That's why I'm a woman. 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 So that is when her mother introduces her to Mrs. Dorling. So when we come to the house, we introduce our parents. We introduce them. We introduce them. We introduce them. So like that, uh, she is introducing. Sujita KP. Sujita, are you there? So turn your mic and speak. Sujita, Sujita KP. Ah, what is there now? അതേ പേരിടണം കേട്ടോ ഈ അറ്റൻഡൻസ് ഒക്കെ ഇത് ഈ പേരിലാണ് വരുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾ ആ പേരിൽ കയറണം ഈ സുജിത കെ പി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ള വൃന്ദയാണ് വൃന്ദയാണെന്നാണല്ലോ മാക്ഷ പറയണത് വൃന്ദയാണെങ്കിൽ വൃന്ദ പറയൂ ഗോപികാവിയം
హలో సార్ yes there is my mother and uh, there is my daughter said my mother she beckoned to me the woman loaded and picked up the suitcase under the coat rack she wore a brown coat and a shapeless hat does she lie for a week i asked seeing the difficulty she had going out of the house with the, with the heavy case in markoli street said my mother in number 46 remember that yes so uh, the mother is introducing the daughter mrs s is introducing the daughter the narrator uh, she says this is my daughter she beckoned to me beckoned to me nu anal vilikka kai konde ingane maadi vilikkunadhaney ana beckoning ennu parayunnu appo magalodu aduthu varan parney vilikkunadhaan appo the woman nodded nodded thale aattilana nodi ശരി എന്നുള്ള സോ ഷീ ഡസ് വാണ്ട് ടു ടോക്ക് മച്ച് വിത്ത് ദ ഡോട്ടർ അവർ സാധനങ്ങൾ എടുത്തു കൊണ്ടുപോകുന്ന തിരക്കിലാണ് സോ ഷീ ജസ്റ്റ് നോട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് പിക്സ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്യൂട്ട് കേസ് ആൻഡ് ദ കോട്ട് റാക്ക് ഷീ വോർ എ ബ്രൗൺ കോട്ട് ആൻഡ് എ ഷേപ്പ് ലെസ് ഹാൻഡ് അപ്പോൾ ഷീ ഹസ് ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി ക്യാരിയിങ് ദ ഹെവി കേസ് ആ സ്യൂട്ട് കേസ് എടുത്തു കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ ഭയങ്കര ഭാരം ആ സ്യൂട്ട് കേസിൽ എന്താണ് വട്ട് ഡസ് ഷീ ഹാവ് ഇൻ ദ സ്യൂട്ട് കേസ് ാണോ താമസിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോഴാണ് അമ്മ പറഞ്ഞത് ഇൻ മാർക്കോണി സ്ട്രീറ്റ് നമ്പർ റിമംബർ ദാറ്റ് അപ്പം അങ്ങനെയാണ് ഈ അഡ്രസ്സ് കിട്ടുന്നത് അതായത് ഡോർലിംഗ് നമ്പർ ഫോർട്ടി സിക്സ് മാർക്കോണി സ്ട്രീറ്റ് അങ്ങനെ മൂന്ന് വരെയുള്ള ഒരു അഡ്രസ്സാണ് അപ്പോൾ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ അഡ്രസ് എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇതാണ് അഡ്രസ്സ് നമ്പർ ഫോർട്ടി സിക്സ് ഡോർലിംഗ് നമ്പർ ഫോർട്ടി സിക്സ് മാർക്കോണി സ്ട്രീറ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ ദസ് സ്റ്റോറി ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ടൈറ്റിൽഡ് ദ അഡ്രസ് അപ്പം അങ്ങനെയാണ് ഈ സ്റ്റോറിക്കും അഡ്രസ്സ് എന്ന പേര് വന്നത് അപ്പോൾ മാർക്കോണി സ്ട്രീറ്റ് നമ്പർ ഫോർട്ടി സിക്സ് എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അഡ്രസ്സ് സോ ഈ അഡ്രസ്സാണ് ഇവരെ ഈ പഴയ കാലത്തിലേക്ക് തിരിച്ചു കൊണ്ടുവന്നത് അതാണ് ഇവർ ഓർമ്മിച്ചത് സോ അതാണ് അവർ യുദ്ധം കഴിഞ്ഞ് ഒരുപാട് കാലം കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഒരുപാട് കാലം വേണോ വേണ്ടെന്ന് കാലം ഷീ ഹാഡ് കം ദർ ആഫ്റ്റർ എ വെരി ലോങ് ടൈം ദർ ഇസ് എ ലോങ് ടൈം ഗ്യാപ് വെൻ ഷീ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് പ്ലേസ് ആൻഡ് ഷീ കംസ് ബാക്ക് ആൻഡ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് തിങ്സ് ഹാവ് ഹാപ്പൻ ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ വാർ ഹാസ് എൻഡഡ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ഹാവ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് the place they have lost their uh, land and everything has changed so she comes back after a very long time i had remembered it so we had address ana amma orkana ayi parne and this address she remembers Rohini Hello sir I had remembered it but I had wandered a long time to go there initially after the liberation I was absolutely not interested in all that stored stuff and natural naturally i was also rather afraid of it afraid of being confront 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 with the things that uh, had belonged to a connection that no longer existed which were hidden away in cupboards and boxes and waiting in a vein until they were put back in their place again which had endure 
endured endured all those years because they were things i had remembered it remembered what i remembered the address amma parnad annu parnadana just remember that nanu parnana in marconi street said my mother number 46 remember that adu ormichu vechollana amma parnittund edrana ormichu vekkunathu ormichu vekkunathu nammada sadhanangalana adu ivarna kayile koduthittund so that is why she asked the daughter to remember it so i had remembered it vaadu njan ormichu vechu endu ormichu vechu address ormichu vechu adu undana kadakkum address nalla title but i had waited a long time to go there appo tirich avada poganayittu kore naal kaathirunnu kaaranam endanu nalladana she is explaining initially after the liberation liberation means freedom swadhrayam kittiyana shudhokka kaiyna swadhrayam kittiyadana shesham i was absolutely not interested in all that stored stuff appo palaye sadhanangalile enikku tirichi avaru vaanganu adu edikkanu ullu oru thalpiriyam enikku undayirunnu Naturally, I was also rather afraid of it. That's why I was afraid of it. We had to pay for the same thing. So that is what she is, uh, she is trying to explain. She was feeling afraid of these things. So that is something very surprising. Why should she feel uh, afraid of these things? So she is saying that I am feeling afraid of those things. Why is she afraid? Afraid of being confronted. Confronted with confrontation or being confronted. എതിരിടാൻ വരിക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ യുദ്ധത്തിന് വരിക എന്നൊക്കെയുള്ള ഒരു അർത്ഥമുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഐ ആം ഗെറ്റിംഗ് കൺഫ്രണ്ടഡ് വിത്ത് തിങ്സ് വിച്ച് ബിലോങ്ഡ് ടു എ കണക്ഷൻ ദാറ്റ് നോ ലോങ്ങർ എക്സിസ്റ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ഈ സാധനങ്ങളുമായിട്ടുള്ള കണക്ഷൻ ആരാണ് ഈ ബിലോങ്ങിങ്സ് ആരുടെയാണ് ആക്ച്വലി എൻ്റെ സാധനങ്ങളല്ല അമ്മ സമ്പാദിച്ച അമ്മയുടെ സാധനങ്ങളാണ് ബട്ട് ദേ ബിലോങ് ടു മീ ബിക്കോസ് ദേ ബിലോങ് ടു മൈ മദർ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ കണക്ഷൻ so these things uh, they are not having a direct connection with me they have a connection with my mother and therefore they have a connection with me so i am confronted with things that belong to a connection that no longer existed apa aa connection ipo bhoomil illa so her mother had passed away during the war and therefore this connection is not there only the things are the sadhanangal mathre ullu ee sadhanangalku aal illengil ee sadhanangalku value illa there is no value for these things if the person who is associated with those things are is not there so that is why she is afraid they were hidden away in cupboards and boxes appo ore aale kaathirikkunnathu pole aanu ee sadhanangale kaathirikkunnathu waiting in vain vain were they were thavil in vain means futile useless waiting so she and she uh, the things have been waiting for her mother to uh, come to the place but it is in vain it is useless anandana ini kaathirna amma varilla her mother is dead she is gone so his ma- her mother is not going to come she is not going to uh, come back to receive these things again so that is why they have been waiting in vain appi sadhanangal kaathirikkana ammayana but her mother is no longer there and she cannot uh, come back and collect all these things and you no know, all these things have changed everything around her the people have many people died the land was transformed then ellam sahichathu enduring endure means to uh, tolerate sahikka so these things have endured all these things appo itrayum kaalam kaiyna avasheshichathaan ee sadhana manushar oru vaadu veru marichu poi her own mother died pakshe ee sadhanangal അതിജീവിച്ചു അതിജീവനമാണ് എൻഡ്യൂറൻസ് അപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരു അതിജീവനം സാധ്യമായത് എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് അത് വെറും സാധനങ്ങളായതുകൊണ്ടാണ് മനുഷ്യരാണെങ്കിൽ ഒരു പക്ഷേ ഈ യുദ്ധത്തിനെ അതിജീവിക്കുമായിരുന്നില്ല എന്നാണ് അവര് പറയുന്നത് സാധനങ്ങൾ ആയതുകൊണ്ട് മാത്രമാണ് ദേവർ ഏബിൾ ടു എൻഡ്യൂർ ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് സോ ബട്ട് എവറിങ് എൽസ് ചേഞ്ച് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ വാർ but what happens because of the war you do not get food you do not uh, get to meet people it is it is like in a pandemic now uh, you are locked inside the house you cannot go out you cannot buy things you do not get good things uh, you are actually like in a prison you are also likely to die because of a bomb so uh, there is a very tense situation which is there because of the war she is remembering 
ഹൗ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ചേഞ്ച് സ്ലോലി അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ആ മാറ്റങ്ങൾ സാവധാനത്തിൽ വന്നപ്പോഴാണ് മൃത but gradually everything become became more normal again red was getting to be lighter color there was a bed who could, you could sleep in the under threatened a room with a view you were more used to glancing at each day and one day i noticed i was curious about all the possessions that must still be at that address i wanted to see them touch remember but gradually everything became more normal again yuddham kaiyumbulana normality varunnu yuddham kaiyunnathu vare normal alla like uh, corona nadakkumbo onnu normal alla this is the new normal now so uh, when the war happened nothing is normal you cannot have the normal kind of food you cannot have the normal kind of situation you cannot have the normal kind of security but slowly became everything became more normal bread was getting to be a lighter color ബ്രെഡ് അതായത് യുദ്ധകാലത്തൊന്നും നമുക്ക് ഫ്രഷ് ഫുഡ് കിട്ടില്ല പഴയ പഴയ ഫുഡൊക്കെയാണ് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടുക അപ്പൊ ബ്രെഡൊക്കെ ബ്രൗൺ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ബ്ലാക്ക് കളറൊക്കെ ആയിട്ട് ഉപ്പൂപ്പലൊക്കെ വന്നിട്ട് ബട്ട് ദർ ഇസ് നോ അതർ ഫുഡ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് യു വിൽ ഹവ് ടു ഈറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് അപ്പൊ ബ്രെഡിന്റെ കളർ കുറച്ചുകൂടെ ലൈറ്റ് ആയി വരുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കുറച്ച് കുറേശ്ശ വെള്ളയായി വരുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അതിന്റെ അർത്ഥം എന്താണ് കുറച്ചുകൂടെ ഫ്രഷ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ബ്രെഡ് കിട്ടി തുടങ്ങി എന്നാണ് ദ ബ്രെഡ് വാസ് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ടു ബി എ ലൈറ്റർ കളർ ബെഡ് യു കുഡ് സ്ലീപ്പ് ഇൻ അൺത്രറ്റൻഡ് when you sleep at night in times of war there is always the threat of being the threat of being bombed karena ee ratri kalangalile ee velichamulla pradeshangale nokki adhaithu aal thamasamulla pradeshangale nokki avar bomb varshikkuvar so there is a threat even when you are sleeping but after the war you could sleep without being threatened so sleep unthreatened bishani illada orangam so that happened only after the war and a room with a view you were more used to glancing at each day why is he speaking of room with a view mumbu oru view um kaanan pattilla karanam ee janalukalu polum black paper vechuttikum karanam prakasham porthekku kadannu kenjal ee prakasham nokkittaanu light varunna area nokkittaanu raatri poom pittirunnathu so they had all blackened out their windows with black paper after the war it was all opened so uh, slowly when things became more normal she became curious she wanted uh, she became interested that is curious curious means interested about all the possessions possessions means belongings so she wanted to see what are those belong where are those belongings are are they still there and it must be still at that address what is the address the address of mrs dorling avade undavu adu endana address നമ്പർ ഫോർട്ടി ടു മാർക്കോണി സ്ട്രീറ്റ് ആ അഡ്രസ്സിൽ ഈ സാധനങ്ങളെല്ലാം അവിടെ ഉണ്ടാവും ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു സീ ദം എനിക്കതൊന്നും കാണണം ടു ടച്ച് ദം ടു റിമെമ്പർ ടു റിമെമ്പർ വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ബിക്കോസ് ത്രൂ ദീസ് ബിലോങ്ങിങ്സ് വെൻ ഐ ടച്ച് ദം വെൻ ഐ സീ ദം വെൻ ഐ ടച്ച് ദം ഐ വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു റിമെമ്പർ മൈ മദർ ഐ വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു റിമെമ്പർ മൈ ചൈൽഡ്ഹുഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ ഷീ ലൈക്സ് ടു ഗോ ആൻഡ് meet that is why she wanted to go and see those things so that is how her first uh, visit to the address happened and when mrs dorling opened the door she did not permit her to enter the house agathe kadakan anumadichilla appo avarku tirichi train le tirichi varandi vannu so that is what happened so then she again decides to go a second time rendam urike kuda veendum poganayittu avaru theermanikkan so that is the next part of the story arya pu
Yes, sir. Please read. Um, after my first uh, visit in uh, way to Mr. Uh, Do uh, Dorling, Dorling's house, uh, I decided to uh, try a second time. Now, a girl of about uh, 15, uh, 15 opened um, opened the door to me. Me, I asked her if her mother uh, was to uh, was at home. No, uh, she said my mother's uh, doing and uh, earned uh, no matter. I said I will wa uh, wait for her. Yes. So after my first visit in vain, in vain, and what are you doing? In vain. No use. No use. Useless visit. Uh, futile. Mrs. Dorling did not permit to talk to her. First visit was in vain. So it was useless because Mrs. Dorling refused to meet her. She was not ready to talk to her. Then I decided to go there for a second time. Now it is somebody else who opens the door. A girl of 15. Who could it be? Just a guess. Dorling in the middle and now the open Dorling and Lavadi work. No, where would you put Pungutian? Yes, Amuka. It is her daughter. So uh, it is her daughter who opens the door and she says, uh, my mother is not here. She is doing an errand. Errand is not here. She is doing an errand. She is doing some work. She is doing some work. Errand. Errand means some small task is called an errand. A small task. It is a real work. So that is an errand. If you go to that place, you will be able to get out of the way. She is doing an errand. So uh, the visitor, the visitor is the narrator. Who is the narrator? The narrator is Mrs. Yes's daughter. So she says, it's okay, no matter. Means it is okay, I will wait for her. So she uh, wants to wait and meet the mother. So the girl is different from the mother. How is the girl different from the mother? Because the girl permits her to come inside the house. Anagha mm. Anu. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I followed the girl. Uh, hello. Ah. I followed the girl along the passage, an old fashioned iron hanka candle holder hung next to a mirror. We never used it because it was much more cumbersome than a single candlestick. Yes. Cumbersome means difficult to handle. Buick and Buddhimutra Lodana, cumbersome. Cumbersome means difficult to handle. Hanukkah means it's a Jewish festival of lights. Festival of Lights Festival of Lights Yes. Some uh, many events we have 
festival of lights so this is the jewish festival of lights jews they the juda mar ada agoshana appa aa samayath ivar oru candles vechittana avaru okay adu vekkanulla oru holder undu hanuka holder ennu parney ee candle holder so uh, it was a it was an old fashioned iron candle holder we never used it ennu parney adu endana manasilagum we understand something ah deepavali deepavali ella onnu thane mayusha are all different terms for the same festival mm. okay so we never used it means this candle holder also belongs to are they any candle holder mrs dorling inde ano candle holder Are they candle holder? Allah, yes. Let's say it is, does not belong to Mrs. Dorling. Our wheat layer, you know, but she is on our day. Allah, it belongs to Mrs. Yes. So, in any of them, Mrs. Yes, Indian man's land, we never used it in the narrator of a rainbow. Our it is other than one of them. Our other beauty can be used because it was more difficult to use than a single candlestick. We want to know which love. I get a heavy another. But the handy and the young beauty care and young over there would have a kind of a certain other side. So, uh that is uh, so this is the next thing that she recognizes which belonged to her mother first thing that she recognized which belonged to her mother was the uh, green knitted cardigan that the mrs dorling was wearing when she visited the first time so this is the next thing that she sees which belonged to her mother appo ingane keri chellumba thanne swigarikkunnathu ivarude sadhanangal aanu ivaru pandu upayogichirunna sadhanangal aanu appo idu nokki ingane varumbo she doesn't uh, remember to sit appo nammal oru adithi aayittu oru veetil chennu kayumbo nammal avade irikkum ennaanu avare tradition so she uh, the uh, the child is offering the girl mrs uh, uh, dorling's daughter is offering uh, the narrator that she should come and sit so she asked the narrator to come and sit Hamid Hamid Nasni Ayusha, please read. Hello, sir. Okay. Bond, you sit down, asked the girl. She held open the door of the living room and I went inside past her. I stopped, horrified. I was in a room. Horrified? Shocked. Horrified. I was in a room I knew and did not know. I I found myself in the midst of thing I did I did want to see again but which oppressed me in the strange atmosphere all because of the tasteless way everything was arranged because of the ugly furniture or or the muggy smell that hung there I don't know but I scarcely 
dared to look around me the girl yes so this is uh, yeah this, this is uh, how we uh, ask somebody who has come to our house to sit down won't you sit down irikune enu nammal parayille so that is what she is doing she is telling the visitor she doesn't know the history so the daughter mrs dorling's daughter doesn't know the history of these things so she ask the visitor to sit down appa kanam onna oral aanu mathra ariyullo so she ask them to ask her to sit down so as she uh, uh, went inside i was horrified i stopped horrified and shocked bangara shock aanu agathe idariya pa endana shock adhimayitta na veetil varunnu kada so avare veeda alla mrs dorling inde veeda so i was in a room i knew and did not know endana അപ്പം എനിക്ക് പരിചയമുള്ളതും പരിചയമില്ലാത്തതുമായ ഒരു മുറിയിൽ ഞാൻ എത്തിയത് പോലെ ഈ മുറി എനിക്ക് പരിചയമില്ല പിന്നെ എന്ത് പരിചയമുണ്ട് ഐ ഡോ നോ ദിസ് റൂം ബട്ട് ഐ നോ സംതിങ് എൽസ് ഷീ നോ ഷീ ഈസ് അവെയർ ഓഫ് ദ തിങ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ ദയർ ഇൻ ദ റൂം ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ അപ്പൊ ദാറ്റ് വൈ ഷീസ് ഐ വാസ് ഇൻ എ റൂം ഐ ന്യൂ ആൻഡ് ഐ ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് നോ ഐ ഫൗണ്ട് മൈ സെൽഫ് ഇൻ ദ മിഡ്സ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് തിങ്സ് മിഡ്സ്റ്റ് മീൻസ് മിഡിൽ middle nadavile so i was in the middle of things i did want to see again kaananam en aagrahicha saanangal nadavile aanu ippo nikkunnathu but which oppressed me caused me difficulty caused me suffocation shwasam muttana pole why because it is in the strange atmosphere irikkanad evadiyanu it should have been in my house but it is in the wrong place therefore she is feeling oppressed in that atmosphere കാണണം ആഗ്രഹിച്ച സാധനങ്ങളൊക്കെ തന്നെ പക്ഷേ ഷീ ഈസ് ഫീലിംഗ് സഫകേഷൻ ഷീ ഈസ് ഫീലിംഗ് ഒപ്രസ്ഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ദ റോങ് പ്ലേസ് അതുകൊണ്ടാണോ ഓർ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്ലെസ് വേ എവറിത്തിങ് വാസ് അറേഞ്ച്ഡ് അപ്പം ഞങ്ങളുടെ വീട്ടിലൊക്കെ ഇതൊക്കെ വളരെ സൂക്ഷിച്ചാണ് വയ്ക്കുന്നത് ഇതിപ്പോൾ ഇവർക്ക് വെറുതെ കിട്ടിയ സാധനങ്ങളാണല്ലോ അപ്പോൾ അതുകൊണ്ട് അവരെങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ അവിടെ വെച്ചിരിക്കുക സോ മേ ബി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ റീസൺ ഐ ഫെൽറ്റ് അ ഒപ്രസ്ഡ് ഓർ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ അഗ്ലി ഫർണിച്ചർ അപ്പം ഞങ്ങളുടെ നല്ല സാധനങ്ങളുടെ ഇടയിൽ ഈ പഴയ ഫർണിച്ചർ അവരുടെ ഫർണിച്ചർ കിടക്കുന്നതാവാം ഓർ ദ മഗി സ്മെൽ ദാറ്റ് ഹങ് ദയർ അവിടെ ഒരു പൂത്ത സ്മെല്ലുണ്ട് ദേട്ട് ഈ സ്മെൽ ദാറ്റ് ഹങ് ദയർ അപ്പൊ ഇതെന്തൊക്കെയോ കാരണങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ട് ഷീ ഫെൽറ്റ് ഒപ്രസ്ഡ് ഷീ ഫെൽറ്റ് ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി സ്റ്റേയിങ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് അറ്റ്മോസ്ഫിയർ ഐ ഡോ നോ ദാറ്റ് വാട്ട്സ് ഈസ് ഐ ഡോ നോ വൈ ഐ ഫെൽറ്റ് ഒപ്രസ്ഡ് മേ ബി ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് സം ഓഫ് ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഷീ ആറ്റ് ലിസ്റ്റഡ് ഓർ മേ ബി ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദീസ് തിങ്സ് എല്ലാം കൊണ്ടുപോകാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇതിൽ പറഞ്ഞ ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ടാവാം she felt oppressed she did not want to stay there for a long time i don't know but i scarcely dared to look around me chuttulladu mugam parijayulla sadhanangalana they are all things which belong to them but she is she does not dare look at these things dhairyam illa chuttu tirinju nokkanayund karanam parijayamulla sadhanangal muluven enne thorichu nokkunnathu pole so the girl uh, requests her to sit down so that is the next uh, next paragraph miduna miduna will read hello sir the girl moved a chair yes the girl moved a chair i sat down and stared at the woolen table cloth i rubbed it my fingers grew warm from rubbing i followed the lines of the pattern somewhere on the edge there should be burn marks that had never been repaired my mother will be back soon said the girl uh, i have already made tea for her will you have a cup thank you yes so the girl moved a chair now i need to get a chair for her to sit so i sat down who is i i is the narrator who is the narrator the narrator is mrs s's daughter and she started staring at the woolen table cloth the woolen table cloth or touchy i rubbed it my fingers grew warm from rubbing appa woolen nu arnale leather kondu undaga leather alla ee 
ആടിന്റെ ഒക്കെ ചെമ്മരിയാടിന്റെ രോമം കൊണ്ടുണ്ടാക്കുന്നതാണ് ഉളൻ ദാറ്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ടേബിൾ ക്ലോത്ത് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇഫ് യു റബ് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബിക്കം ഹോട്ട് സോ മൈ ഫിംഗേഴ്സ് ഗ്രൂ വാം ഫ്രം റബ്ബിങ് ഐ ഫോളോ ദ ലൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ പാറ്റേൺ അപ്പൊ അതിന്റെ ഈ വര വരകൾ ഈ തുണിയിലുള്ള വരകൾ ടച്ച് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കി അപ്പൊ ഇൻ ദ എഡ്ജ് ദർ വാസ് എ ബേൺ മാർക്ക് അപ്പൊ അവര് പണ്ട് ഉപയോഗിച്ചിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മിസ്സസ് യെസ് വെൻ ദർ യൂസിങ് ഇറ്റ് മേ ബി വൺ കാൻഡിൽ ഡ്രോപ്ഡ് ഓർ സംതിങ് ദർ വാസ് എ ബേൺ മാർക്ക് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഉള്ള ആൻഡ് ക്ലോത്ത് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് നെവർ റിപ്പയർഡ് സോ അത് അവർ തപ്പി നോക്കുകയാണ് എവിടെയോ ഒരു ബേൺ മാർക്ക് ഈ ഉള്ള ആൻഡ് ടേബിൾ ക്ലോത്തിലുണ്ട് സോ ദാറ്റ് ടേബിൾ ക്ലോത്ത് ഓൾസോ ബിലോങ്സ് ടു ദ ദ മിസ്സസ് യെസ് and the family so everything almost all the things except the furniture there everything except the furniture belong to the uh, narrator that is mrs s's daughter so she uh, this is the next thing that she is first first was the we knitted cardigan then the hanuka tab, uh, candle holder now we have the woolen table cloth so everything uh, that uh, she comes and sees in the room everything belonged to the mother that is the narrator's mother mrs yes so she says the daughter of mrs dorling she says my mother will be back soon i have already made tea for her appa amma ipo then tirichu varu appo undu njan chai ga undaki vechittundu will you have a cup she says thank you means you can take me a cup appa uh, the daughter mrs dorling's daughter is taking tea for the visitor at that time she uh, gets a chance to Uh, look at the things that are there in the room uh at the area mayusha ne vilcha yes mayusha can be i looked up the girl put cup ready on the tea table she had a broad back just like her mother she poured tea from a white pot all it had was a gold border on the lid i remembered she opened a box and took some spoons out that's a nice box i heard my own voice it was a strange voice as though each sound was different in this room oh you know about them uh, she had turned round and brought me my tea uh, she laughed my mother says it is handy uh, we have got lots more Yes, I looked up. അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ ആ കുട്ടി ചായ എടുക്കാൻ പോയ സമയം കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ ഐ ലുക്ക് അപ്പ് അറ്റ് ദ റൂം ദ ഗേൾ പുട്ടി കപ്സ് ആർ എഡി ഓൺ ദ ടേബിൾ ഷീ ഹാഡ് എ ബ്രോഡ് ബാക്ക് സോ ഷീ ഹാസ് ആ കുട്ടിയും വലിയ വലിപ്പമുള്ള ഒരു കുട്ടിയാണ് ലൈക്ക് മദർ ഓൾസോ ഹാഡ് എ ബ്രോഡ് ബാക്ക് ഷീ ഓൾസോ ഹാസ് എ ബ്രോഡ് ബാക്ക് സോ ഷീ ഈസ് പോറിംഗ് ഫ്രം ദ ടീ ഫ്രം എ വൈറ്റ് പോട്ട് and white pot with a gold uh, bordered lid is the same thing that they had in the house so which means if the teapot is also belongs to mrs yes so she uh, remembers that and after that the daughter opens a box and takes out the spoons so that's a nice box so the box of spoons also belongs to mrs yes so the daughter is surprised uh, that she is uh, showing familiarity at these things apo miss mrs dorling in the daughter dorling in the magalku ivarude ee sadhanangal aanu njangal ubhayogikkunnu nalla arthiyilla dorling parnu kodutilla so therefore she is surprised that the visitor is familiar with the things in her house ende veetla sadhanangal ee varuna visitor ke engena ariyam nalla oru surprise aanu that is why she, that surprise is indicated in her words oh you know about them ee saanangal ke ningalku parichayam undo enna chodikka parichayam undennalla adu ende daanu ennana ivaru parayunnathu pakshe avaru orikkum parayilla adu so do you know about them she had turned around and brought me my tea so she says my mother says it is antique appo ആരാണ് പറയുന്നത് ഡോർലിങ്ങിന്റെ മകളെ പറയുന്നത് എന്റെ അമ്മ പറയുന്ന ഇത് വളരെ പുരാതനമായിട്ടുള്ള സാധനങ്ങളാണ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതുപോലെ ഒരുപാട് ഉണ്ടെന്ന് അപ്പൊ അത് ഞങ്ങളുടേതായി അത് അവരുടേതല്ല ആക്ച്വലി അത് ഇറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി ബിലോങ്സ് ടു മിസ്സസ് യെസ് ഇറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി ബിലോങ്സ് ടു ദ നറേറ്റർ ഹു ഈസ് നൗ വിസിറ്റിംഗ് ദ ഹൗസ് ബട്ട് ഷീ സേസ് വി ഹാവ് ഗോട്ട് ലോട്ട്സ് മോർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡോർലിങ്സ് ഡോട്ടർ സേ 
and she pointed around the room. No, he condo him. The younger, younger Southern Laka, and he condo. Actually, the younger Southern Lala in the lover, he dorling in the Mangal Arila. She doesn't know that these things do not belong to them. These things actually belong to Mrs. Yes and the narrator who has now come to the house. So she says, well, you can just go, go through and you can see. She asks, uh, Ask the narrator to go, uh, I mean, to see around the room, see for yourself. She will. Hello? Yeah, yeah. I had no need to follow her hand. I knew which things she meant. I just looked at the looked at the still life over the tea table. As a child, I had always fan fancied the apple on the pewter plate. Pewter plate, yes. We use it for everything, she said. Once we even ate of the plates hanging there on the wall. I wanted to so much, but it was not anything special. I had found the burn mark on the tablecloth. The girl looked question questioningly at me. Yes. So I had no need to follow her hand. So the girl is pointing to the things that are there around in the room. So I had no need to follow. So I knew which things she meant. All the things that are there, she can recognize much better than the daughter of Mrs. Dory. I just looked at the still life over the seat, tea table. Still life nor tea table, dining table like a model, nature life like pictures. I mean still life in the Dining table in the model like a sheet pieces, plastic sheets. Apart from that, pictures and other are still life. So uh, that even that belongs to the narrator. As a child, I had always fancied. Fancied means desired. Agrihikyo, the apple on the pewter plate. So ah, uh, pewter plate, no, I mean metal plate. No, it is a combination of bronze and copper. But apple in the Yanapurum, It's actually only the picture on the uh, table, but she she had always desired that apple. Ah, apple in the because it's a child, the child doesn't understand that it is just an image. Apa Kutika or make a paper with a So uh, while she is looking at it, the uh, daughter is saying, Mrs. Dorling's daughter is saying. We use it for everything. Though they are considered antique, we use it for everything. Because these things do not belong to them. So therefore, the daughter says, Mrs. Dorling's daughter says, we use it for everything. We even ate of the plates hanging there on the wall. Maybe, maybe they are made of silver. So once he ate, of the plates hanging there on the wall. I wanted to so much, but it wasn't anything special. I'm all very on a Dorling slaughter saying, because the question So that's why she says, once we even eight of the plates hanging there on the wall. So the plates hanging there, those things also belong to Mrs. Dor Mrs. Yes and the narrator. So she, uh, you must remember that in the previous paragraph, she was uh, touching a woolen tablecloth to find out the burn mark. And here in this paragraph, you will see that she, the, her search has now been successful. She had found the burn mark on the tablecloth. If you tablecloth, you can the burn mark touch the face, happiness and the expression. That's why the girl look, looked questioningly at me. What is the problem? The end of the day, the end of the tablecloth is the end of the tablecloth. Other than the Ganaburu, Alberto Dudi, 
വന്ന ഒരു സന്ദർശക ഒരു വിസിറ്റർ സർപ്രൈസ് കാണിക്കുമ്പോൾ ദ ഗേൾ ദ ഗേൾ ഡസൻറ്റ് നോ ദി ഹിസ്റ്ററി സോ ഷി ഈസ് ലുക്സ് ക്വസ്റ്റനിങ്ലി അറ്റ് മീ എന്താണ് ഇവിടെ എൻ്റെ വീട്ടിൽ എന്താണെന്നുള്ളത് സോ സോ ദാറ്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റനിങ് ലുക്ക് ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ബൈ ദ ഡോട്ടർ ഓഫ് മിസ്സസ് ഡോർ so uh to the questioning look of the girl she gives a very philosophic reply uh, she karanam kutti nokiyathu ende veettil vanna saanangal thottu nokkiyittu ningalkku endana oru surprise nalla appo adine ivar oru oru reply kodukum and she what does she decide after seeing all these things idakka kaanan vendittaanu ivada vannathu avasana ivan vanna shesham ellam kandu kenju there is nothing more to see she has seen everything and what does she decide now appo ini idakka saanangale tirichu poi chodikano adu ee saanangale ke ende aanu nalle ee kuttiyodu parayano adu ini dorling varna vare kaathirunnattu dorling inodu parayano idakke aanu namukku ini discuss cheyanalla we will take all these things up so that's the last part of the story we will take this up in our next session and we will complete the story in the next session so thank you have a nice afternoon goodbye thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you